Hello students, welcome you all again. We are studying from the book which is all about computer. So please open your book and the third chapter which is Access 2016 Design View. You have learned to create a table and enter and work with data in it using the dataset view. Let us now learn to create a table in design view. The design view allows you to design the structure of a table in a better and controlled way. It lets you add fields to a table, specify and data types and add description for the fields. You can also set the primary key and specify various properties for the fields. Opening a table in design view. To open a table in design view, double click the table in the navigation plane to open it in a dataset view. Then on the home tab in the views group, click the view down arrow and select design view or click the design view button on the right corner of the status bar. The table opens in the design view. Components of design view. The design view screen consists of two parts, field definition grid and field properties pane. Let us discuss field definition grid. Field definition grid. The field definition grid in the upper half of the design view screen is used to specify the definitions for various fields in a table. It consists of the following parts. Field name used to specify the names for the fields in the table. Row selector, a small box to the left of the field name column is used to select a field. Data type used to specify the data for the fields. Description used to specify an optional description for the field. Field properties pane. Field properties pane. The field properties pane in the lower half of the design view screen is use, used to set various field properties that control the appearance and behavior of data added to the field. Some important and frequently used field properties. Field size, data type, sort text number, auto number. It helps to specify the maximum size of data stored in a field. Then, new values, auto number. Let you set whether auto number field increments in sequence or use random numbers. Format, short text, long text, number, date or time, currency, auto number, yes or no, hyperlink. Format lets you specify the way values in a field appear when it is displayed or printed. Decimal places, number or currency. Let's you specify the number of decimal places to use when displaying numbers. Input mask, short text, date or time. Input masks lets you specify the way data is entered in a field. Caption, all data types. Caption lets you specify an alternative or more descriptive name for a field. Default value, short text, long text, number, date, time, currency, yes or no, hyperlink. Default value lets you assign a specified value automatically to a field when a new record is added. Validation rule, short text, long text, number, date or time, currency, yes or no, hyperlink. Let's you specify a condition for the data entered in a field. Validation text. Validation text lets you specify the error message to display when the value entered in a field violates the validation rule for the field. The validation text property is applicable only the validation rule property is set for the field. Required. All data types except auto number. Required lets you specify whether you must enter a value into a field or not. It should be set to yes if you want a value to be entered in the field and set to no if the field can be left blank allow zero length short text long text hyperlink allow zero length lets you specify the length of text based field it must be set to no if the required property is set to 
no if the required property is set to yes if both the properties are set to no the field can be left empty in a record creating a table using design view to create a table in design view on the create tab in the tables group click table design you can see in figure 3.4 a new table is inserted in the database and the table opens the in design view then enter the name for a field in the field name column then select a data type for the field from the data type drop down list then type a short description about the field in the description column then set the various properties for the field in the field properties pen repeat steps 2 to 5 to add more fields if desired click the save button on the quick access toolbar the save as dialog box opens type an appropriate name for the table and click the ok button the table gets added to navigation pane on the home tab in the views group click the view down arrow and select data sheet view to add records in the table setting the primary key a primary key is a field or set of fields with the values that are unique throughout a table it is used to identify records in a table a table can only have one primary key to set a primary key for a table Click the row selector for the fields you want to use as the primary key. Then on the table tools design tab in the tools group click the primary key button. You can see in figure 3.10. Then access sets the field as the primary key and a key indicator appears in the row selector. You can see in figure 3.11. To remove the primary key from a table, first select the primary key field and then on the table tools design tab in the tools group click the primary key button. Access removes the primary key from the field and the key indicator disappears. Modifying the table design you can modify a table design by adding, deleting, renaming or moving a field in the design view. Adding a new field. To add a new field to a table, first open a table in the design view. Then click the row selector of the field above which you want to add a new field. Then on the table tools design, in the tools group click the insert rows button. Then Access adds a new field to the table. Deleting a field. To delete a field from a table, click the row selector of the field you want to remove. On the table tools design tab, in the tools group, click the delete rows button or press the delete key. Then a warning message appears. Then click the yes button. Access removes the field from the table. This is how you can delete the field. Renaming a field. To rename a field, first click the cell in the field name column for the field that you want to rename. Then type the new name. Access renames the field. To move a field, click the row selector for the field you want to move. Then drag the field vertically and drop it where you want to place it. Access moves the field to the new position. So we have completed the third chapter which is the design view of Access 2016. Thank you.